So guys, this is just a quick summary of my FM transmitter review. Now, like I said in one of the earlier videos, I'm definitely not a radio expert. I haven't got um, equipment to check, you know, what frequencies and, and, and stuff like that. Um, it's been a pretty basic test, but I think it's been just a bit of a real world situation. Can you hook it up? Does it work? Does it do the job we want it to do, which is give that audio signal out for our light show to the uh, people coming to watch it so they can turn their FM radios in to, to listen to it. Uh, okay, so just a quick summary of the little the module one. Uh, my quick first thoughts of it. Uh, it's nice and cheap. It does take a little bit of uh, fiddling around to connect your aerial up and you've got to make your own antenna wire. As I said, mine's pretty, pretty average. Uh, it doesn't come with a case or anything like that. You've got to give your own power supply and an audio line. Uh, it's got easy to use functions. It definitely would need some sort of protective case on it, I believe, if he was going to use it. But hey, if it was maybe your first um, Christmas light show or something like that and you wanted a nice cheap alternative, I think it works quite well. The distance works quite well. Uh, easily 30 meters maybe you know 50 meters quite clearly i don't think we need to transmit any further than that it does go a little bit further a couple hundred meters downside is the volume level not as high as the others uh, maybe setting the volume level a bit higher if you're using a raspberry pi or something like that might help but it was a, fair, a little bit fair bit quieter uh, than the others but saying that people could easily turn their radios up in their cars so overall, it works, it does the job it's meant to do, has a little bit fiddly you know, to hook up, uh, especially with a nice little antenna wire, but um, I think it's okay. I actually would probably also recommend maybe one of these as a spare, if you've um, wanted to grab one, because they are quite cost effective. Uh, maybe if something happens to your own radio, you've got this one to fall back on, just uh, in case you have to. Oh, just for another side note, I have connected the USB connector since direct into the USB port on my Raspberry Pi and it does power the FM transmitter and it does send the audio through exactly the same. So that might be an option to people uh, connecting up, but hey, do your own tests, see if it works. Uh, the next one was the CZE-7C. Now this was the you know, probably most powerful one listed of the ones that are available. Uh, it was probably also the one out of the box easiest to use because you know, come with the aerial connection there, come with the Australian 240 volt plug, um, comes with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. All seems good, it's a nice case. Hey, the fan's noisy on it. Uh, just be aware of that. And I did have a couple of weird possible frequency issues causing on my laptop. Um, but when I did do this test, it was seen to be working okay on the Raspberry Pi. Saying that, I did check it earlier, uh, previously, and it did cause my Raspberry Pi to stop once. I just rebooted it, and it seemed to be fine. So just keep that in mind. Maybe you have to keep a bit of distance away from where you've got your main controller. But it does what it says it does. It transmits that FM frequency, um, that FM audio outlook that we need. Um, the sound was clear. It didn't break up. And it got some really good distance, even on the lower band. So I didn't check it on the um, high band because it's um, significantly overpowered, I believe, for what we need. So that's the other thing, just to be mindful. Um, it is probably too powerful for what we need. And lastly was the one which everyone seems to recommend um, and glowing reports all over the internet on is the EDM type. Now this is one which probably needed almost as much work as the little FM one, little FM module one. Um, you've got to pull just a casing off like I said and solder that power supply in and like I just mentioned uh, it didn't come with an Australian type plug so you've got to provide your own power supply uh, but which is pretty pretty easy to do uh, and it, probably the only other tricky thing was it was the different audio in it, it has the RCA's so if you're going to order one you grab yourself a, an RCA type um, adapter to 3.5 just be mindful of that um, it doesn't appear to have any volume controls easily acceptable on the board on the transmitter itself 
Um, probably and the only other thing is that the to adjust the frequency is a little bit trickier than the others. But hey, um, I think once we're set on a frequency frequency for our shows, we pretty well stick to it. Now there's lots of also videos out there about you know how to check your frequencies and the legalities of it and stuff like that. Hey, I'm not looking at that. I'm just looking at it as do they do what they're meant to do. Which one am I going to use? I suppose that's the big question. Um, look, I'm not an expert. I probably would go towards the EDM type. Uh, it's got a really solid reputation out there. Uh, lots of people have been using it for quite a few years. Uh, the sound quality, I think, was fractionally better than the CZE. It was a bit louder. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to set up out of the box, but I think anyone that's in this sort of hobby is used to soldering wires and stuff like that, so I don't think that's a big issue myself. Only downside is probably is the um, aerial, like I mentioned, the antenna. It doesn't really want to stay in that one spot, but it seems to sit up there on those tests I'll do, so I think it's, that's what it's meant to do. Okay, so that's probably just in conclusion. Like I, like I said, I'm, I'm probably going to go more towards the EDM type, and I'll keep um, the FM little module board as a bit of a backup and go forward from there. Okay, I hope you found this um, review interesting. If you've got any thoughts, comments, put them in the um, comments below. And just also, I'm going to put a link in the comments below. There's a really good written summary. It goes into a lot of technical details on the EDM type. Uh, there's a really, really smart person, smarter than I, that done a really good um, report on that one. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.